Hello everybody, it's Kay here and I'm here today, um, I'm just taking a break from a project that I'm working on. It's a concertina album and Tanika, who is Scrap the World, put up a tutorial yesterday and it's inspired me yet again to go on and do some more things. It's quite a large project and so I've, I've taken a bit of time out and made some more little things for my challenge giveaway using this lovely Sizzex die. I know it's an old one but it's the mason jar and I've just been playing with it. Nothing outstanding really but I thought I would share because you know it, it's obviously something that everybody's thought about doing if they've got this die and, and it is such a lovely little thing to use to make toppers for cards. So what I've put together, if I leave that one there, are these little lovelies. Now this is mason jar shakers. I'll bring it up to the camera because you can see if I place it in my hand and my hands aren't very large, it just just fits into the into the palm of my hand quite comfortably there. And all I've done basically is used some backing card, which is paralysed, some ribbon, a little gem to anchor down the little spoon here, which I've wrapped in duct tape just to give that silver look to the spoon and put a little decoration on it. And inside on this one are little silver sequins. So I actually went on... <laughs> nature of the beast to make quite a few of these and I'm really pleased with how they've come out. It's just a little, um, the the craft paper here was a, a pad from the range that I bought oh, some time ago now and it's just a little six by six and, and the papers there allow you to get three or four of these little lovelies out at the same time. To make the heart shaped centre all I did was punched with a um, scalloped edge punch and then put the um, see-through window on it. I haven't used up to date. Oh, bless you Bill, that's my dog, he's <laughs> having a bit of a sneeze. I haven't used um, conventional acetate, I've just got a pad that is ideal for overhead designs and things if you're giving lectures and so on and it, it does this kind of thing very very nicely. It's not hugely strong but because this is structured in this way it does allow it to come to its full potential in this capacity and acts as the window for the shaker aspect. In, in some of them I've used two or three shades of sequin but clearly because the aperture is so small there isn't a whole lot of room to put too much in. I suppose I could have put some um, seed beads in or something of that nature, but it just didn't occur to me at the time. I was on a bit of a roll, as we get when we're doing this kind of thing, and just kept going basically with what I had immediately to hand. So I hope you like those. It's just a very, very old idea. There's nothing new, but sometimes the oldies are goodies. So I thought I'd share those with you. And then having thought that these were a bit oldy, dark and a bit vintagey, I've gone to completely the other stream and just made some tags. That's all they are. They're a little bit glitzy. I've used the mirror board for the three little hearts here. I've used some very, very lovely shimmery, shiny ribbon to go around the top and then used another little flat back doodad there just to seal the edges of the ribbon that goes around the lid. And just here, which is really, really tiny, is probably about a one millimeter little beaded thread which works very nicely so in fine style I went on to make six of these and they're not actually identical I used one sheet of 
8x8 card. Still had some card stock left over and went on to make these little lovelies. Again, it's not the shaker aspect, it's one dimensional apart from the additions on the front. But I just thought that was a lovely little gift tag or again you could use it as a card topper just to add in to the winning from a challenge. I am um, I'm working away quite nicely. I, I I've got postage as a as a concern in my mind. So what I'm trying to do is put together things that won't cost a great deal to post out and if I keep going at this rate there will actually be more than one prize available at the actual drawing but for now this is what I've done to add to the final giveaway on the or challenge draw on the 12th of September so I hope some of you will join me and I'll see you then. Take care everyone. Happy crafting. Bye bye for now.